whatever you say. When you say according to what God says, when you say, you say it, you believe and you don't doubt, and then you receive it. Lord, I thank you for it. I thank you that it's mine. I have it. And then and then just simply, you know, go on the assumption that it's true. I assume that this is true. And act on it. You know, act like it is true. I was laying in the bed one time, sick as a dog, <laughs> with a flu and coughing and stuff like that. And I thought, I've got to call into work today. I, I was thinking, I am just not able to go to work today. I just can't work like this. And the longer I laid there, I just got to thinking, now, Lord, you said in your word that by your stripes, I am healed. So I believe your word. I believe your word's true. And you said in your word that if I believed and received, I could have. I said, okay, I believe it. And I receive. I receive my healing. Well, I was still coughing. And then I thought, well, you know what? Heal people. Get up and go to work. So, okay. So I got this body up. I got it dressed. I got it cleaned up. And I took it to work. And you know what? As the day progressed on, I felt better and better and better and better. Praise God. I was healed. I acted on I acted just like God's word was true. I acted on God's word. I believed. I received. And although my body didn't feel like it at the time, but I believe God's word that by his stripes I'm healed. I got myself up and I went to work. <laughs> Praise God. And I was healed. <laughs> Amen. I'll tell you what, that's, that's wonderful. If you can get a hold of that, and you know what? Now, it may take some time. It may take some time when you start practicing that and do, and do it a little at a time. I'm not. Don't wait till I mean you're. You know. Don't wait till you're down and out or you know some got some horrible disease and stuff like that. To, then just try to start believing God. I mean, start where you're at right now. But if you're if you wait till you've had some dreadful disease, it's going to take time for you to develop your faith and your belief in the Word. But start where you are right now. If the doctors has handed you a bad report, start where you are right now. Say, okay, I'm going to start today. I'm going to start believing God's Word. I'm going to start reading it. I'm going to believe what God said without a doubt in my mind. God, I'm going to believe what you said, and I'm going to receive what you've done for me. From this day forward, I receive it. And don't matter how you feel, you say, I, it don't matter how I feel, I'm going to believe God's Word. And find you somebody, some prayer partner that will believe with you. The Bible says, if any to agree is touching anything that they shall ask, it will be done for them. Find you somebody. If you're so weak that you can't hardly pray, say, hey, get me somebody that believes God's word. Go get me somebody. Bring them to me because I want to pray and agree with them. Praise God. I want us to agree together on God's word that by his stripes I'm healed. Or if you're in financial trouble today, go get me somebody that literally believes God's Word. Call them up on the phone because I want us to agree together like Jesus told us to do. For my financial prosperity, praise God. Because now I'll tell you what, Jesus did not lie. Jesus never did a thing that was wrong. If there's anybody that's ever been credible and you can believe in this world, it was Jesus. And Jesus gave us a manual for life. He gave us the Bible, the Word of God, and we can believe it. We can believe what Jesus said, praise God. Because he said, thy word is truth. Because Jesus always did those things that please God. He said, I always do what I see my Father do. I always say what I hear my Father say. Jesus never did one thing 
in this earth without hearing from God. Every time he did not make a move on his own, he said, he even said, it's not me that does the work, it's my father. He said, I do what my father tells me to do. It's my father that does the work. Praise God. Jesus said that. And a voice spoke out of heaven. God spoke out of heaven. When Jesus was baptized, he said, this is my beloved son. He said, in whom I am well pleased. I am well pleased. He was well pleased with Jesus. And you know what the Bible says? Pleases God? Faith. Faith. The Bible says without faith, it's impossible, impossible to please God without faith. 